The goal of every regulator is to be effective and efficient. For every regulator, though, resources are often the greatest constraint as those same supervisors are faced with an accelerating pace of change and ever-expanding dynamics of risk. When we talk about constraints, resource constraints, we're talking about the three core constraints of budget, there's never enough money, people, it is very difficult and takes a long time to develop resources. So as a result, good resources are scarce and the resources you have are overburdened, often overwhelmed by the amount of work that is required in order for them to be good supervisors, good regulators. And for many regulators, their technology is older, legacy-based, and has, is challenged in trying to respond to the future. The gaps in these systems put extra burden on your already strained resources. Being future ready means optimizing these three resources. And the right technology is the right first step. Well deployed, it goes from being a burden to an enabler of efficiency and effectiveness. And it does this by helping your people transition from time-consuming, low-value work to the added value of high-value work, doing the work that they're supposed to do. By this, what we mean, or what we define as low-value work, is the manual work of getting into a position to actually supervise. By that, we mean taking information, collecting information, getting the data organized, and presented to your resources in a format that allows them to understand what is happening, make a decision, and take action. High value work is those last three steps, the understanding of what is happening, making a decision, and taking action. For many people, the opportunity of artificial intelligence is to get to high value work more quickly. One of the things we do in the design of our systems is we look at the workflow inside of a regulator and where is low value work being performed. For example, let's take a licensing application. The applicant submits their information and somebody within the regulator has to review that information and the first thing they have to do is validate does that information have everything that was required? Are all the attachments in? Are all the fields filled out? Is all the information in those fields correct? When that information is not, the regulator's personnel have to reach back out to the applicant to get the information corrected. This is the ultimate low value work. It can take time to reach that applicant, there's communication back and forth, whether it's by phone call, by email, there's extended cycle times to getting the response and getting the information right. To, turn this, to transition this with technology is nothing more than having the technology do a validation step before or as the information is submitted. So that if something is missing, the applicant is notified at the time they attempt to submit it. This eliminates all those extra steps that are taking up the time unnecessarily of your resources and is the ultimate in low value work. So we look throughout the process for where are these steps taken where people have to get something right, get something collected, presented into the right format in order to make the decision and take the action that is actually a part of the goals of their role. Artificial intelligence is a huge opportunity in the future to accelerate this transition from low value to high value work. It allows regulators to achieve the maximum efficiency in getting to effectiveness by letting all of their resources get to a place where what they're doing is the highest value of making an analysis, drawing a conclusion, making a decision and taking action.